What's up guys? What's growing on? So I got a plan I haven't talked to you guys about yet in the food forest here and I was driving around on the cart this morning getting ready to hit the road and I saw the flowers and I saw a couple of fruits. So next to me here, Ginger's in my seminal pumpkin patch and we have seminal pumpkins or calabaza pumpkins we'll call them, more or less tropical pumpkins. Regular pumpkins don't grow very well here in Florida. They don't like our humidity, they don't like all that rain that we get, especially when it starts to get monsoonal like it does here in the summertime. One of the interesting facts I'll point out about this seminal pumpkin, up here just north of us, maybe about an hour and a half, there's an area called Chazawiska, Florida, and I have read an article that said Chazawiska stood for Land of the Hanging Pumpkins. So the Seminole Indians, you know, supposedly grew these pumpkins up the trees, you know, who knows how long ago. I think it's kind of interesting. So there's a couple of heirloom varieties of these pumpkins, and the one I'm about to show you, it's probably about this big. Actually, I'll pick it up for you. Hold tight. Right about right here. So these definitely come in different you know, shapes and sizes. Last year, we had a couple that were, you know, this size, probably about 12 inch. These are a little bit on the smaller side size but they're definitely you know very manageable this is a great dinner material and you can eat the whole outer side of this you know seminal pumpkin and we really like just cutting them in half putting some butter salt and pepper in there laying it face down those two pieces on that pan 20 minutes in the oven this is delicious so when you do harvest these I would highly suggest harvesting them with a bit of stem on there that's going to give you a lot more time inside the house and by time inside the house I mean we can harvest these right now not this one because it doesn't have a stem, but this one will make it a year inside my house. So you know, I've got buckets of these in the spare bedroom and as we want them for dinner and when we're not growing them, we have seminal pumpkins. So, you know, as far as food storage goes, this is a great one. It lasts for a long time inside your house. And a couple of other interesting facts I'll point out about the seminal pumpkin is the tips of the vine are edible and the flowers are edible. So you don't want to harvest that female flower you're going to take away from getting that pumpkin but this vine produces male and female flowers. On those female flowers, you're gonna get a little ball below the flower. That's that pumpkin that's gonna you know, start to form. You don't really wanna harvest that one unless you're willing to lose some pumpkins and you just have a real abundance of flowers. But with the male flowers, and you can see there's a couple of flowers over here. There's this one, there's this one. Usually we get them before they open up. So this flower, I mean, talk about a killer garnish. Talk about a killer appetizer. Some of these local restaurants right now are starting to serve these. They're stuffing them with cheese. They're deep frying them. You know, they're putting them as a garnish. They're serving them as an appetizer. Multiple use. So I would suggest getting this flower before it's opened up. You know, that's the best stage, probably when it's the most tender. I was just at a market last week and they were selling boxes of these flowers. Also in my video at the Asia market, they sell these as bouquets of flowers. So, you know, beautiful flower, edible. Tips of the vines, like I had mentioned. So this tip of the vine right here, you'll see these in bundles at the market. You know, you have to cook these, but these are edible also. So tips of vines are edible, flowers are edible, fruits are edible. Talk about a multi-function species for the food forest. So seminal pumpkins, calabazas, definitely worth growing. I hope you all enjoyed this short, quick video. Please like, please subscribe, please share, and if you feel the need, pound it. <laughs>